Hello, Mr. Buffett and Mr. Munger. My name is Justin Fong. I am 13 years old from California. This is my third consecutive year in attendance. First of all, I'd like to wish you the best of health so we continue to, um, to Omaha for many years to come. Thank you. Thank you for answering my question on friendship last year. My question this year is, how do you define success and happiness? Are they related, and how would one achieve that? Thank you. Well, I tell, I tell college students that when you get to be my age, uh, you will be successful if the people that, uh, that you would hope to have love you do love you. I mean, you if uh, Charlie and I know a few people that have got a lot of money and they get testimonial dinners and they get their names on buildings and, and the truth is nobody loves them. And, you know, not their family, not the people who named the buildings after them. You know, it's, uh, it's sad. And it's, unfortunately, it's, you know, it's, it's something you can't buy. I mean, Charlie and I have talked a lot of times if we could just buy a million dollars worth of love. You know, I mean, it, uh, it would be so much more satisfactory than to try and be lovable. Uh, <laughs> but it doesn't work that way, you know. The only way to be loved is to be lovable. It's, 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 and I hate to tell you that at 13, but, but, uh, uh, and, but the nice thing about it, of course, is that, you know, you always get back more than you give. I mean, that, uh, I don't know whether it was Oscar Hammerstein or who said, you know, a bell's not a bell till you ring it. A song's not a song till you sing it. Love isn't in the heart, isn't put there to stay. Love isn't loved till you give it away. And basically you'll always get back more than you give away. And if you don't give any, you don't get any. It's very simple. I don't know anybody my age that is loved by a lot of people. We had a dinner the other night. Don Keel was there. Everybody loves Don Keel, you know, and for good reason. And there's nobody I know that has, that commands the love of people around and people they work with, their family, their neighbors, that is other than a success or feels other than a success. I don't know how the people feel that, that where they know that nobody loves them, but I can't believe they feel very good. So it's, it's very simple. You can't get rid of love. If you try to give it out, you get it back more than you've given. And uh, it's, uh, it's the best thing. Uh, Charlie, what do you speak for? <laughs> well, you don't want to be like the motion picture executive in California. And they said the funeral was so large because everybody wanted to make sure he was dead. And, and there's a similar story about the minister saying at the funeral, won't anybody stand up and say a good word for the deceased? And there was this long silence, and finally one guy stood up and he said, well, he said his brother was worse. <laughs> Look at I would say this, a third, look around at, you know, people older than you are, look around at your, you know, your older relatives or whatever, and you will not see a, an unhappy person who is, 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 is loved by those around them. I mean, it's, it, uh, and it's, uh, I don't know. most people in the, in this room are going to do very well financially. Most of the college students I talk to are going to do well financially. And, and some of them, uh, uh, are going to have very few friends, real friends, uh, as they get older and, and others, uh, people won't be able to do enough for. And I see it around me all the time. So that's our advice for the day on that. Number two. Mm -hmm.